Hey everyone! With some new info from the upcoming beta, one of my new favorite characters has now gotten their official kit. I'm sure that everyone by now understands the fact that this game is literally Harmony Rail, and Robin is another well-welcomed addition to it. Robin is our first Harmony to actually deal a good amount of damage, and yes I said good amount of damage, so please get this fraud off the screen. In all seriousness, Robin is quite unique from the other Harmony characters, as instead of being a updated version of a past character, Robin happens to be a combination of three characters. Being follow-up and generally dual DPS centered, Robin looks pretty exciting kit-wise, managing to put a unique spin on a team-wide buffer, so let's get right into it. Robin's talent grants crit damage to all teammates by a fixed amount. This is a really great baseline for a talent just to start off with, but we aren't even finished yet. Robin's talent also gives her a flat amount of energy after teammates attack. Which means that Robin should always have a consistent flow of energy. This directly scales with how fast your team is and how often they can attack, which ties nicely into her theme and synergizes well with the other parts of her kit. You can obviously tell that this will work best with follow-up characters like Topaz, Ratio and even Aventuran. These characters all constantly fire off attacks, which should heavily benefit Robin's monstrous 160 cost ultimate. Her skill only does one thing, but it is a really important one, giving damage percent to the entire team for a set duration. This buff scales with trace level, and has similar scaling to Ruan Mei's skill on total value. The duration and the way it ticks down are also pretty much exactly the same as Ruan Mei's as this buff is completely set to Robin's turn only, meaning that this is especially good for general quality of life and her team variety. Robin's ultimate is really detailed and has a ton of separate mechanics to unpack. Firstly, it gives Robin decreased aggro, letting her be targeted by enemies less. But the main thing her ultimate does is buffing all allies attack based on her own, and this has an upper limit of about 100% attack to the entire team. On top of that, Robin also has an additional damage mechanic, working similarly to Ting Yun. Dealing additional physical damage based off her attack stat to enemies after allies fire off attacks. The funny part of this is that her damage is actually set at a fixed crit rate and crit damage ratio, being 100% crit rate and 150% crit damage. This means that you can luckily not be stuck in the relic mines farming crit artifacts for your harmony character and instead you can just aim to get as much attack on her as humanly possible. The damage that Robin does is definitely not a small amount, with her hits each doing around 15,000 damage at fairly low investment scaling up really significantly with characters like Ruan Mei who can buff her damage and the rest of the teams. Robin's damage looks pretty great to me, almost being enough to overshadow the 100% action advance she provides to the entire team. I don't think we truly have to explain how utterly busted this is, so instead I'm going to show you how good Robin's damage buffing is compared to the other premium harmony supports, without even factoring in her damage. Robin stands her ground pretty well, being better than Ruan Mei in terms of damage amplification but still losing to Sparkle. This is fairly obvious though, as Robin is a team-wide damage specialist whilst Sparkle is a solo buffer. I got very carried away with that section as my Discord kept making funny memes about Robin, but we aren't even finished with her ultimate yet. The most important part of Robin's ultimate is that it puts her in the concerto state. This state makes Robin immune to all crowd control effects, and makes her unable to act during the duration of it. However, at the end of concerto state she will immediately take action, making it so that she is not out of the battle for too long. Having a teammate completely unavailable for an extended period of time is an absolutely massive drawback, which is why Robin seems to do quite a lot to compensate. This is the longest I've ever spent talking about an ability in all of my videos which shows truly how much of a queen Robin is. Now, talking about Robin's traces, she has self-advance at the start of battle to ensure she will act first to cast her own skill as she will generally be building really slow to maximize her attack buff and her damage in her ultimate. Her second trace increases crit damage towards follow-up attacks, being a pretty small amount. And finally, her final trace basically just heals her whenever she drops under a certain amount of HP. Robin's traces are pretty boring, 
which I am personally very happy about as I spent like half an hour talking about her ultimate. Either ways they are generally solid with the advanced trace being the best out of them all in my opinion. Finally, Robin's Eidolons. Robin's E1 adds more buffs to her ultimate, as of course she needed more. This grants allies a stack of ornament to all allies when they use a basic, skill or ultimate. Units with this effect increase their speed by up to 30% permanently. Additionally, this also completely massively increases her damage by increasing the multiplier of her additional attacks by almost doubling it. As long as Robin isn't like completely trash by the end of the beta, this is easily the best E1 in the entire game. Remember in 1.0 when a good E1 was 30 crit damage? Luckily, Robin's E2 does not follow the pattern of broken E2s as right now it looks pretty mid to me. It basically just gives the team 20 crit damage and makes her talent restore 3 energy instead of 2. As of now I haven't actually worked out what breakpoints this gives her, so I can't tell you if it's good or not. Robin's E4 is what her E6 used to be, cleansing all allies on ultimate usage and then increasing all allies effect res by quite a significant amount. For a survivability idolin, this is extremely good. 50% effect res is the same as a veteran's and we already know how clutch that can be. Her E6 is truly something crazy though. First of all, it increases the resistance penetration by 20%, but that's not even the fun part. Robin has an ultimate similar to Farina's from Genshin Impact, for the first 6 instances of damage she does, they basically become government licensed nukes and gain 200 additional crit damage. This is a really fun E6, providing gain and buffing is always great. Overall, Robin's kit looks fairly cool, she has a ton of utility, team-wide buffs and even defensive utility that helps her look like she could definitely fit into the meta right well. I will say that I don't think this kit is anywhere near power creep anymore though, she looks pretty well balanced and I'm only expecting good things from her regarding her place in the meta. But anyways, that's enough speculating from me. Remember that with any character leaks, you have to keep in mind that the information we have is not finalized at all yet with their most likely being changed planned for Robin over the upcoming weeks. But serious stuff aside, what are your thoughts on Robin's updated kit? Share your speculations in the comments below, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.